Hi everyone, I'm Tom Wood and this is my wife Jeanette and today we're talking about confessions of a freelance wife. So obviously you can't do this talk all by yourself. No, I'm, I'm not the wife. No, you aren't. So I think this is going to be like a sifter session takeover if I'm not wrong. Oh, okay. So you just <laughs> want me to leave then? I think so. Okay. That is correct. Okay. Um, bye. See you. <laughs> My confession as a freelance wife is that I'm getting frustrated from time to time. But our focus is going to be who we talk to or how we deal with these frustrations. Because we could use this episode just to talk about all the frustration, but that's not going to get us anywhere. Being frustrated is probably something every human being on this planet relates to and not just a wife of a freelancer. So in my case, the frustration is built up by a lot of small things, with which I guess you can all relate to like chores around the house ending on my list over and over again, like going to sleep when I wake up in the morning. He forgets to eat. Yeah, that's the thing. I couldn't forget that because I love food. So that's a few points on my list and you probably have your own. And as I said, we're not gonna talk about that because that's just gonna be depressive. We are gonna talk about what we actually do when we get frustrated. Sometimes it's nice to talk to someone else just to Sit down, breathe, and not just attack right away when you feel like it's building up. Because in my experience, I feel, in my experience, haven't worked yet. <laughs> but the key here is who you speak to about these things. I want to speak to someone that knows us, that maybe knows our situation, and that wants us the best. And why is that so important? You want to have someone that takes you out of the bad place into a better one. So if you sit there and keep complaining and drowning in negativity, you have someone that doesn't jump in with you, but helps you drag you out of the mud, drag you out of the negativity to get somewhere else. Because it might feel good there and then to talk about all the negativity, but it's not getting you anywhere. Many people maybe don't understand this way of living, but maybe that's not the best people to, to go to when you feel like this, but it's better to turn to someone that actually knows you and your situation. And on that note, don't let people define the right way of living because there is no right or wrong here. It is what you have figured out is the best for you guys that is the right way for you. And I'm preaching to myself here because I'm still working on not comparing our life with someone else's life. I wanna proudly stick to the plan that we have designed for our life and be comfortable with that that is the best way for us to live and maybe many people mean that it doesn't look like a good way to live. That's their problem. It's not ours. We, we have figured out something that we feel is good and just like be comfortable enough to stick with it. Of course, there are people you look up to and you see how they live. And that's a good thing to be inspired, but to just take the same life and just try to make it your own. It's not an easy thing to do. So I want to talk to friends that actually gets me, that gets our situation and that have my back. That helps me grow into being the person that I want to be and tells me the truth even when I don't want to hear it but it's probably what I need to hear to change my perspective. And when I get home I'm in a better place. I feel like I can talk without getting... So when I get home I'm in a better place to talk about all these frustrations. I've been able to talk this out with someone else that really helps sometimes. And in all this, we just want to keep on moving. We don't want to have the same frustrations over and over and over again throughout our lives. That's why we keep on having the conversations about what we are frustrated about, because we don't want to keep being frustrated at the same things all our lives. We want to get somewhere. So obviously we all get frustrated from time to time. And this is just a few of my thoughts that I feel is helpful when I feel the frustration is building up. So I hope you got something out of it. All right, that was some great tips about how to deal with frustration in a freelance family or in a freelance relationship. 
Uh, if you have any other suggestions, you can post them down below and we can start a conversation about this. Uh, and that's going to be the end of today's episode, but we'll be back next Monday with a new and brand new theme. So until then, have a great week.